Welcome back to America's Retirement Headquarters, home of the Retirement Guys Formula and America's Medicare Associates. Nolan Baker and Scott Kirshner, 419-794-3030 is the phone number. 419-794-3030. Online, americasretirementheadquarters.com, arhq.com, or America's Medicare Associates.com. I'm bringing up that website because I want to talk about Medicare right now and whether or not people need a Medicare supplement plan, Scott. Uh, let's talk about the truth about Medigap plans and what people need to know before they decide whether or not a supplement plan is going to be right for them. Well, sure, Chris. The, you know, that's um, it's, it's each individual's needs that we have to always take into account. Uh, you know, one of the things that I do, and I've, I've done this for a long time, is uh, it's it's not about what's best for the agent or the agency. It's always what's best for the individual and, and the client. Um, so what you know, first I want to start off by talking a little bit about Medicare and the original Medicare. You know, so original Medicare has your parts A and B, which we've talked about. And most people know about those, uh, but parts A and B have some gaps uh, to them, and and. What we want to do is we want to make sure that whatever plan we're going to put in place is going to cover those gaps. Uh, and then we have Part D, which is your prescription coverage, right? So that is your drug coverage. Now, if you don't properly sign up for these plans when you're first eligible for these plans uh, or, or for this coverage, then you're going to suffer penalties. You know, One of the things that we want to make sure that we eliminate are all of the penalty options for you, okay? Mm-hmm. Uh, the other thing is uh, Part C. So Part C is your Advantage plans, and this is what a lot of people are looking at these days. Um, and, and there are various reasons. You know, Nolan, when I take a look at you know over the history, for probably 25 years of my career, I sold almost exclusively supplemental plans, and I, I've seen a large trend changing and migrating towards the Advantage plans. And the reason for that, I believe, and this is this is more an opinion than anything else. You know, sometimes that'll get you in trouble. But, you know, these Advantage plans are most similar to the plans that people are coming off of, of their employer plans, right? You know, you typically have a office copay. You have your out-of-pocket expenses. It could be an 80-20 or a 90-10 plan. You have a deductible phase. And then, uh, you know, you've got coverage after you meet those out-of-pocket expenses. And all of those plans come with a premium, okay? So I, I think the reason why a lot of people are going with these Advantage plans are because of some of the cost involved. Uh, I want to go through some of those costs. So, so just to give you an example, a Medicare supplement, you're going to pay for your Part B premium, okay? Your Part B premium is... Uh, for the standard is 164.90 for 2023. Uh, that number typically goes up. It did go down this year. Last year it was 170.10, but it went down to 164.90. That cost for Part B is the standard. So if you are an individual taxpayer and you're paying $97,000 of reportable income a year, uh, or a a family of 194,000 a year, then your Medicare Part B premium is going to be 164.90. So it doesn't matter what you have, whether you decide to choose a supplemental plan or an Advantage plan, that's a cost that you're going to incur. Uh, so there are basically six gaps in the original Medicare that you want to protect against. And Part A has three and Part B has three. So typically what a person is going to do is purchase either a supplemental or advantage plan to cover those gaps. Uh, plan G is the most common plan today. Um, anybody that turned 65 after January 1st of 2020 uh, plan F is in Frank is no longer available, and that was basically a 100% plan. But Plan G is going to give you uh, coverage for five of those six gaps that the original Medicare Part A and B has. The only thing that uh, Plan G is not going to cover is the Part B deductible, which is $226. That is an annual deductible. After you reach that deductible, you basically have 100% coverage. So typically with a supplement, in our area, Plan G is going to cost roughly $125 a month. You're going to have your prescription plan, which on an average is going to cost roughly $100 in, uh, or I'm sorry, um, uh, $20 bucks a month. So when you look at your 
125 your $20 a month plus your uh, Part B premium, you're looking at roughly $300 to $310 a month for Medicare. An alternative to that is your Advantage plan. And your Advantage plan typically is going to have a zero premium involved. So a lot of people like that, right? You still have to pay for that Part B premium of 164 but you do not have to pay the monthly cost for your um, supplemental plan or your prescription plan. The other reason why people like the uh, Advantage plans is it gives you a lot of perks. You know, so for example, if you're someone that has a need for dental insurance or dental coverage uh, with a supplement, you would have to pay for a dental plan, which is roughly $45 a month. Now you're getting upwards of 350 a month for a health plan. So let me summarize here and give you five reasons or five types of people that would want to consider an Advantage plan over a supplement. One, based on your finances. It could be that you just quite frankly don't want to pay a monthly premium other than your Part B. Uh, or it could be that um, you can't afford to pay the additional $175 to $200 a month. So someone that is concerned about their finances, they would want to consider an Advantage plan. Your health. Let's say that you're healthy. You live a very healthy lifestyle. You uh, don't uh, have any health issues. Your genetics are showing that uh, mom and dad lived a long, healthy life without a lot of health issues. Uh, you know, obviously health is never guaranteed, but if you're healthy, uh, you may want to consider an Advantage plan because you will never use the uh, out-of-pocket expenses that, that comes along with an Advantage plan. Third, the perks. I mean, the perks, they have several perks available, like a gym membership. Let's say that you like to go work out at the gym. You can get a free gym membership. You can get over-the-counter items covered. Uh, typically, most plans cover anywhere from... 60 to 130 dollars a quarter in over-the-counter items these are items that you're currently paying for right now dental vision and hearing let's say you need some dental work it comes with dental all at that zero premium location i know a lot of people look at this and say location well what does that have to do with anything well let's just say that the location has a lot to do with these advantage plans some of these Advantage plans are very, very rich in benefits, okay? They have, uh, just to give you an example, just across the border in Michigan, uh, they have Advantage plans up there with a zero premium with a very low out-of-pocket, $2,500 in, in uh, uh, dental coverage, which is very high uh, based on the industry standard. So if you live in an area where you have very rich benefits, Florida is another example. You know, we have a lot of snowbirds up here. They go down to Florida. Um, Florida has plans that zero premium with $1,000 max out of pocket with a lot of perks. And lastly, other options. You know, um, there are some plans out there that have, um, you know, retirement plans that will continuation of coverage for your health benefits. Uh, Nolan, I know um, you're a veteran and I appreciate your service, but a lot of people have veterans benefits and uh, they choose to use the VA as their primary uh, source of health care, um, that would be another reason to choose an Advantage plan because you don't have to pay a premium for an Advantage plan and you get a backup coverage, so to speak. Uh, if you retire from the military, uh, you are eligible for TRICARE, and TRICARE has some very, very good benefits available as well. So, you know, to kind of wrap this up and summarize here, uh, there's five reasons why you may want to consider an Advantage plan over a supplement. If any of those um, items really strike a chord with you and you want to learn more, uh, please reach out to me. I've got um, uh, several events coming up. Uh, we do a lot of educational meetings. We've got one coming up here in uh, Maumee at, um, on the 21st at the local Red Lobster here. We do a lunch and a dinner seminars. We've got several on our website, um, you know, americasmedicareassociates.com, and you can sign up for any of these um, uh, educational events that we do. And, um, you know, if you have any needs or concerns that I can help you with, I'd, I'd love the opportunity. 
So to find one of those events, if you want to continue this conversation, learn more. Uh, again, coming up uh, here at the end of the month on February 21st, uh, the Turning 65 Medicare Workshop. Find the, the time that works best for you, americasmedicareassociates.com. Click on the event tab, or you can reach out directly to Scott, Scott K at the retirementhq.com.